President Muhammad Buhari administration is deploying a 1,000 strong mixed force comprising the Army, Air Force, Police and the Civil Service Defense to launch counter-attacks on the bandits terrorizing the villages and towns of Zamfara State. Chukudi, is this a move in the right direction? Well, in the immediate, the presence of our security personnel will halt the activities of these criminal bands. But we must begin to do a whole lot more. And doing a whole lot more is trying to develop human capital. If you do not develop, if you do not invest in human capital, <clears throat> all of this is a waste of time. Why? Because all the factors necessary to transform Zamfara into another Boronu state or that particular part of Nigeria into another northeast are prevalent. People do not have access to education, healthcare, and it is easy to be recruited into these criminal bands. And let us not even stop here. It is not just about a group of people that ride on motorcycles and come into villages and kill people. We are going to prepare a breeding ground to export people who are going to join Al-Qaeda, Al-Shabaab, ISIS, and the rest of them. Now, what we must do is, in the immediate, while we allow the presence of these security personnel for stall any breakdown of law and order, we must begin to invest in human capital. Now, interestingly, earlier in the year, a very sad report was shared into federal government secondary schools. Do you know how many people registered in the whole of Zamfara State? 15. Very, very unfortunate. Now, when we look at this figure, you begin to wonder what will happen to the future of Nigeria. I even hear that there are more secondary... Somebody even... Somebody thought about building more secondary schools where you do not even have primary schools. But, Chukudi, I have a serious problem because I'm reading down this report and, quote-unquote, it was stated by Garba Shehu, who is the SSA media to the president, that this had not been possible in the past because there was no fuel depot facility in Katsina. But NAF has devised a way around the problem. So this has not been possible in the past because there is no fuel depot in Katsina. In the oil-producing state that we are, to the extent that oil production has even become our Dutch disease, and the reason why people have been losing their lives innocently all this time is because there was no fuel depot in to Katsina? Be, to, be, to be fair, not the reason why people are losing their lives. Mm. The reason why we did not have the presence of the... Of the yes. Yeah with the number that has been deployed mm. now is because of that situation. So I think the airport with the closest proximity to that place is in Katsina State. Yeah, okay. But the underlying problem here is not about the presence of our security personnel. It's about the failure of leadership. It is the failure of leadership that has resulted in this. So whether you even have um, a, a, a fuel depot, depot, a fuel or depot mm. in Katsina or in Zafara, it doesn't still change anything. Because like I said, People that do not have access to Medicare. Some people join these terrorist um, groups because they can eat three times a day. True. Now, somebody that cannot eat three times a day would rather want to join an organization where he, he brandishes an AK-47 and feels some sort of power. He eats three times a day and can unleash terror. On, there's a place in Zafara they call the Dansauda Forest. Mm -hmm. That Dansauda Forest, if you tell the Inspector General of Police, to relocate there, the Inspector General of Police that, could, that did not spend 24 hours in Benue, he will resign. This is no jokes. When they killed, when they killed, there's a person they call Buharijin. When they killed him and paraded his body in the whole of Zamfara, people were, people were in joy. Do you know that they respect the guys in that forest even more than our security operatives? They have, they have built some sort of cult-like and God-like, demi-God-like following. This was why a lot of people were very excited when President Muhammad Buhari was coming into power because if he got okay with his military experience and his military background, he will come and flush all these people out of the system. Beyond that, he even know, said it in his manifesto. Did so he not? We just, we're just, we, we can't keep hoping now. Now we need to take action. We need to get involved and we need to get our PVCs. And we'll continually do the count out, countdown. Today is the 29th, right? Or 30th, 30th. rather day of july so we have 18, 18 days to the end of the collection of pvc so please go out there as much as you can we know that the system is designed to frustrate you from getting your pvc many of many people have been trying and have not still gotten please do not stop trying employers of labor please if possible give your employees a day off to go get their pvcs all right thank you so much for joining us thank, Chukudi, you, thank you to enjoy more of this our ubonga videos when you just watch press this button to subscribe on top of our youtube page you go love her